Hello, my name is Mr. Trent from Boys and Girls Club here in Marion, and today we're going to talk about language. Have you ever been corrected for saying something incorrectly? Maybe you have or maybe you haven't, but if you have or if you've ever corrected someone for using language wrong, just know that uh, there is actually no right way to speak the English language. But because there is no right way to speak English, then why do some people sound different than others? Well, people that live in the same country as each other and speak generally the same language don't have different languages or different accents. They have different dialects. All a dialect is is a different form of the same language. So it branches off of a base language, so we can use English, and it just sounds a little bit different. But dialects, opposed to different languages, still have a lot of the same normal rules as a normal language does. So you're not gonna sound, they're not gonna sound completely different. But again, just because one sounds different doesn't mean it's wrong. There really is no right way because there's no one way that you say is what everything branches off of. And what a lot of people sometimes get wrong and I guess it's wrong in the name too, is the one that we think is most right is called mainstream American English. Now, it is super, super important for us living in America to know how to use mainstream American English. This is because this is what you hear in your schools if you wanna to go to college one day. This is the kind of language that we use um, if you're going to a job interview. This is how people talk. So knowing mainstream American English is super important for um, really making it in this world, in this country. But there are still tons of different dialects, and none of them are any worse than what mainstream American English is. None of them are any more, are not as smart as like mainstream American English. They all have equal value. Another one, for example, is the African American vernacular, or some people call it the Black American vernacular. And it has its own rules as well, uh, and it's not just a random language. This is what a lot of people speak, especially what you hear in like hip hop and certain movies. Um, this vernacular, there's nothing wrong with how it's structured and how it speaks. It still has rules, and it's not any less valuable than what mainstream American English is. And to show this, I'll give you a quick example. So, like, in the African American vernacular, a sentence like this is totally okay. I don't want none. So this is where if you were being corrected by someone that says they know the right way of English, they would correct you and say, you can't say that Mr. Trent because don't and none are both negative words. And you're not supposed to say two negative words. They can't show that out. So I can't say don't want none. So in mainstream American English, the stuff that you would usually be corrected by, they would say, I really don't want any. So that way you don't have two negatives this time. But in the African American vernacular, which is different than the mainstream American English vernacular, in the African American vernacular, that is a totally okay sentence. Because in the African American vernacular, the black American vernacular, um, two negatives are used to really make a big point about something. So when you say, I don't want none, instead of saying, I don't want any, I don't want none. So you really make a big point by using the word don't and none in the same sentence. So the point of all this being, um, just because there's a different dialect does not make one language better than the other or more like any more smart than the other. It just means that they are different. They have different rules um, and, and we differences are okay. It's okay to have different things, different opinions, and especially have different ways to speak. Most of the way that we learn how to speak comes from at home, our family members, cousins, uncles. So there's no um, way to define someone in any other type of way by they speak. Um, you can judge people in other characteristics, but the way they speak is not one to really judge someone by. And so that makes your language, your dialect, a part of you. It's a part of the person that is talking about it. So um, it, it, it tells a lot about you. It's your story. It's how you learn. And it's something that's important to you. And as I mentioned earlier, it is important to learn something like mainstream American English because you're going to have a better chance of thriving, especially if you want to go to college or even if you want to get a job where you have to do a lot of reading or look at papers. But it is important that anyone, even if you speak a different way than your friends speak or other people at your school, that your language is important too. The way you speak is important. Don't forget it and don't think that you're any less because you speak different than other people.
Thank you for watching this video from our virtual club. Be sure to check out this website for lessons just like this one, updates from your favorite staff, and for some fun activities that you can do at home.